Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here in my robe drinking my morning coffee, looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say I don't look sexy as hell when I do these videos in my robe, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. Which brings me to my point for the day. Now, I'm running an experiment on this right now on my private Facebook. And I'll discuss this in detail later, probably in another video, either today or tomorrow. And I'm really concerned about all of the messages I've gotten in the last week over the holidays from young men who very, very clearly suffer from body image dysmorphia. And I blame the internet. And eating disorders. If you guys saw the amount of messages I got from young men, and I, I almost wanted to cry. Yeah, me. I almost wanted to cry when I read some of this stuff. Of these guys who, I had several guys who did stuff like take grilled chicken and broccoli in Tupperware to their family dinners during the holidays. Or who felt so guilty about the treats they ate on the holidays that the next morning they did four hours of fasted cardio and ate like a thousand calories that day. And I had one who sent me a message saying that he felt so guilty about what he ate at the family dinner that at his mother's house visiting, and this is like a 20 year old guy, he went to the bathroom, stuck his finger down his throat and threw up the Christmas dinner in the toilet. We have a real problem here, people. We have a problem in this community, this so-called fitness community, because people's expectations have been skewed by these fitness models, natural bodybuilders, and all these people who maintain unhealthily low body fat percentages or who get so ripped that they absolutely are unhealthy and I hate to tell you guys that there is nothing healthy about being six percent body fat and if you're not injecting testosterone most of you can't even get a heart on at that body fat you actually require drugs and on top of that women don't even find you attractive the majority of women and even the average person thinks it's revolting yet people have this obsession with this level of body fat and it's just it's something that didn't exist 10 years ago I've been in this game a long time I and mean, people want to debate me on this but yes I have been contest lean and it's not something I would ever subject my body to again I, I can't imagine that anybody puts themselves through it I don't know why they do it to be honest but the, those who too choose to do so that's their business but the thing is it is created this image that all these young men now think that they have to be ripped to shreds or they're not attractive. Their self-worth is based upon it. If they don't have deep abs, they're young men who are scared to take their shirt off in front of a girl to even have sex with her. And they're actually convinced that anyone who isn't ripped can't possibly get laid and bang attractive girls. And it just blows my mind how skewed this community has become in the last decade because we didn't have these problems 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Guys had no problems bulking up at 15 or even 18% body fat and walking around the beach shirtless because they were still big and jacked. And they had no trouble pulling girls. Nobody thought they were fat. This is just not a problem. And as we have this culture has been brought on by the internet, I blame natural bodybuilding and I blame fitness models. I blame the fitness industry for doing this and it's actually causing harm now when you have the amount of orthorexia nervosa that I'm seeing from people at the holidays and even worse when you have people binging and purging young men this was unheard of we did not have young men with eating disorders 20 years ago now we have all these anorexic and bulimic young men this used to be a female problem and I'm just gonna say it bluntly this industry has turned and I'm not talking about strong females, don't take that wrong ladies, I don't mean the stronger women. Our young men who are involved into a bunch of whiny little females who are anorexics and bulimics. That's what we've turned this community into. All these young men are beta as fuck. And I blame this industry for doing it. I don't know, something needs to be done about it. Maybe I can help with it. I really don't know if I can. This is so far gone. And I'm not really awake enough to really express my feelings about it. But when I, I read the story of this young guy throwing up a Christmas dinner that his mother made for him, something that all his life he enjoyed and looked forward to because he was scared he was going to lose his abs.
I don't know. I, I wanted to cry when I read that. All right, guys. I'll try to talk more on this later, and that's really all I have to say on that today, and I will talk to you guys next time.